And this building is the, the most advanced car factory that Earth has ever seen. After the 10,000th Model Y was produced in September, Giga Texas worked frantically to double production in just 43 days. They have reached a new milestone by producing the 20,000th Model Y vehicle. So what exactly is the actual capacity of Giga Texas, and how can this factory pull it off? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Tesla announced the news when Giga Texas produced the 20,000th Model Y. In this description, it says, 20K Model Y built at Giga Texas to date. 20K meaning 20,000. It seems Giga Texas's Model Y production is definitely improving at an amazing rate. This allows us to calculate that it took Tesla 108 days to produce the first 10,000 Model Ys in Texas and only 43 to produce the next 10,000. Production capacity increased nearly three times. This means Giga Texas was able to produce a total of 20,000 units in just 151 days. With this milestone, Giga Texas's current capacity is about 232 vehicles per day or over 1,600 vehicles per week compared to over 1,000 vehicles per week reported on August 20th. Considering that the installed manufacturing capacity is higher than 250,000 units annually, the target to fully utilize the capacity is roughly 5,000 per week. For comparison, the Giga Shanghai plant produced 20,000 units in exactly 100 days, while Giga Berlin achieved that in 187 days. However, Tesla is preparing for a major expansion of Giga Berlin to make way for more production capacity. Tesla currently lists Giga Berlin's production output at greater than 250,000 vehicles per year. As of the end of September, 2,000 vehicles a week are coming off the production line in Grunheide. This figure is to rise to 5,000 cars per week by the first quarter of 2023. Tesla's officially communicated goal is to produce 500,000 vehicles per year in the German factory. We have to admit that Tesla's factories, particularly the Giga Texas, are making really spectacular progress. The significant increase in the number of Model Y is also a sign that the fulfillment of orders is very satisfactory and that the Cybertruck production plan will soon be conducted here. So how is the Cybertruck production in Giga Texas going? We're building the Cybertruck line here at uh, Giga Texas Austin. I'd say the going's pretty great. Tesla's Cybertruck bodies were spotted inside Giga Texas recently. The Cybertruck's unique shape was outlined through the cover, giving away the pickup truck underneath. The body shows Tesla's progress with Cybertruck production as it appears to deliver the pickup truck. The Cybertruck bodies were likely units to test the pickup's production lines for efficiency and accuracy. Giga Texas's work on the Cybertruck has been picking up lately as Tesla prepares for deliveries. According to Elon Musk, Tesla is in its final lap for Cybertruck. Tesla is on track for early production in the middle of 2023. The automaker has not shared any projected sales numbers for the Cybertruck, but with a claimed 3 million reservations under its belt, the automaker is confident it can sell as many as it can make. Giga Texas will be able to produce up to 500,000 vehicles annually, and considering that 250,000 of them will be Model Y, we can get an idea of how many Cybertrucks will be built here. But what about the factory's human resources system, you might ask? While Tesla is trying to ramp up the production of future products at Giga Texas, it is very interesting that the most advanced factory in the world does not currently have a plant director. They're still looking to hire a person to be in charge of the entirety of Giga Texas. Several employees at Giga Texas shared a job posting for senior executive manufacturing leader Giga Texas. The listing has been around for a while, but it is now being shared again by Giga Texas executives and recruiters, suggesting that Tesla has yet to fill the position. Fortunately, Tesla already has other manufacturing leaders at the plant, including Jason Shawhan, director of manufacturing at Giga Texas. Tesla hired him from Ford last year, where he had worked for almost 20 years, and most recently was the assistant plant manager at Ford's Kansas City plant. To be fair, recruiting plant directors is no small task. We're talking about eventually hiring a leader for 10,000 workers. That means that if the plant director's work influences the output by just 1% one way or the other, they could be making billion dollar decisions. It affects the growth of the plant because Giga Texas remains one of Tesla's most important factories. 
CEO Elon Musk noted in the third quarter of 2022 earnings call earlier this month that the company's second-generation manufacturing equipment for the 4680 cells has been set up in the facility, especially since the factory is producing a brand new Tesla Model Y with cylindrical battery cells and a structural battery pack. Yeah, I mean, our, our, and our output of 4680 is growing exponentially. But will the production of the 4680 batteries be enough to supply the entire factory's products? Limited supply of this type of battery was considered a major bottleneck for the plant and probably caused the decision to also produce the standard version with the 2170 type cylindrical battery cells and a non-structural battery pack. Currently, we don't know what the proportion is between the 4680 and 2170 Tesla Model Y in Texas, but Elon Musk said that... Some of the Model Y is coming out of... Uh, Giga Texas are uh, 4680, um, and I think truly the car you drive around is 4680. Maybe in the next two to three years, all Tesla models will use 4680 batteries. However, currently the new 4680 type Model Y has not yet appeared in Tesla's design studio as a separate version. It has a bit of a different range than the long range all wheel drive version from Fremont, but was initially offered to employees or appeared in Tesla's existing inventory. Moreover, Panasonic announced that it aims to produce 30 gigawatt hours of battery cells during the first phase of its new Kansas factory, which is expected to supply Tesla's vehicle production. It was believed that Panasonic might produce Tesla's new 4680 battery cell format at the plant, but the company actually confirmed that at least for the first phase, it will produce 2170 battery cells. Tesla is also the world's biggest consumer of 2170 cells, which are used in most of its electric vehicles today. The 30 gigawatt hour capacity puts the new plant at the Gigafactory level and should enable the production of around 400,000 EVs per year. Giga Texas will become a factory at a breakneck speed of production, easily helping Tesla reach 20 million vehicles by 2030. Would you prefer your Model Y with the 4680 battery? And do you think the Cybertruck will make great strides in production? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.